Reveal. 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 Everybody loves reveals, Chris. <laughs> yeah. You got your cool that. hairstyle it's trying. on? It's, it's, yeah. No, not really. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Matt, and we're at Texas Toast Guitars. I have Chris to my right, your left. Hey, everybody. I have something very important to ask you, Chris. Yeah? What's that? Do you like Buckethead? I, I love Buckethead. <laughs> oh, wait, I fucked it up. Hey, you're from Colorado, right? Yeah. yeah. Do you like Buckethead? That's what I meant to say. Hell yeah. I'll Try to imagine that I did that right the first time. Yeah. You'll really laugh. Mm. <laughs> so, um, a while ago, we started a project that was one of the um, scrap wood projects because the very first scrap wood project that we did was wildly popular on the internet. Correct. And so we decided to do another one and this time we wanted to take it over the top. Sort of like that Stallone movie. People are like, show us the guitar! Yeah. Hey Matt, show the guitar! And because um, they can't wait to see it. Right. It's really, really cool. Are you ready? No, I'm not ready. Okay. So we took a bunch of bits of um, various tone woods that were in the shop. Everything from mahogany to basswood and all points in between. There's some alder and some ash and it's arranged uh, in such a way that it will be maximized the tone of this instrument. And I've always wanted to make a BC Rich Eagle, so we kind of copied the BC Rich Eagle. And I uh, needed to make a neck for it, so we used one of our student neck blanks. And um, it turned out great because Mike Learn came by and painted it for us. So, are you ready to see it? Everybody, you ready to see the reveal? Reveal, reveal, reveal. Here it comes. Check it out. It's all put together. You poked in the head with it accidentally. Paul wanted to know, uh, he said, he said, so I take it you went shiny. And yes, we did. Um, we went gloss on everything but the back of the neck um, has, uh, uh, has a gloss finish <laughs> on it there. <laughs> totally blocking you. That's <laughs> okay. Keep talking, Matt. Oh, he keep doesn't talking. take much to keep me talking. Keep talking. So, so why don't you, uh, let's show everybody what we've got from starting on the ass end and working forward. So okay. we've got our, um, our scrap wood body that doesn't look like a scrap wood body no more. It's got a, uh, a hip shot, um, uh, fixed bridge, stop tail bridge through, through the body bridge. It's got a Seymour Duncan Invador pickup on it, and it, I guess it hits the amp pretty hard, right? It does. Okay, it's got one of our student necks, and... Um, I, forgot to, I forgot to talk about the chicken head. The what? The chicken head. Oh, the chicken head. Now, that's the a... vintage that's a, chicken head. That actually is a vintage chicken head from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. Yep. Um, it's got uh, one of our student necks that uh, um, really got cool all of a sudden. It's got uh, uh, some kind of brown wood fretboard. <laughs> I don't know what it is. And it's got hip shot uh, black tuners. It's got all black hardware. Um, it's got a nut. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's, got, got, it's got strings. It's got cryo. It's got the Stumac cryo wire. Uh -huh. It has one volume Back knob. Again. And uh, that's, that's, you know, 80s style right there. So. Yep. And of course, it's got the Mike Learn paint job. You know how you know it's a Mike Learn paint job, y'all? Because it actually says. M Learn right there, or or Mike L. I can't. I think it was the same. It says Mike M Learn nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. And while I was buffing it, I kept thinking that it was like dirt. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, what is this? Oh, it's Mike's signature. Yeah. Yeah. So this turned out super awesome, and um, we we have done a number of videos where we you know talk about this guitar and we show you guys how we did it. We have three hours of Mike coming over and painting, and uh, this guitar is. Totally boss. What's it sound like, Chris? It hits the amp hard, yeah? Yeah. You wanna play it? Sure. Oh, I gotta put down my beer. Is it is it gassed up and it's ready to go? It's gassed up and ready. Just turn it up. Turn it up, man. Okay, because I am the world's 
okayest guitar player. Congrats. So, what do you think of this, Chris? I mean, no, this it turned out great. I actually like it. I. It's it's uh, it looks cool. What do you think of the BC Rich Eagle shape? You know, I, it's actually it's kind of growing on it's me. It's not a little as bit. kooky yeah. as, as some other BC Riches were. No. And this was one of the. I think this might have been the second one that Bernie Rico designed after he started doing electrics. Oh, okay. The first one was the Seagull. Okay. And it was had a point right here coming up and a point right here going down because only a classical guitar builder would put something that would point you if you leaned over the guitar like that. So, um, man, I don't even know what else to say about this. This thing's just badass. Yeah, yeah. It looks, well, because <laughs> it is, but it's like straight out of the 80s. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. if you're straight out of the 80s, this guitar could be yours. We should have um, Brett and or Bart come over and, and give this guitar up. Play some up. 80s, 80s um, rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And um, so, oh. I don't know. I don't know which ones. Which ones? There you go. It's really out of tune. It's really out of tune. Yeah. Hey, so somebody asked me on the video yesterday, trust rod, because there's no there's no access right here. So. Um, in the, the early days of, of the Fender, I don't think they can see it when you did that. I, the, the, the Fender truss rods were on the heel. And so you had to pull the neck out of the body to adjust it. And so that's just the price you pay for looking cool. Yeah. Um, so if anybody has any other questions that they want answered, let me know. If you would like to have this be your new guitar, um, it's... Well, how much is it? Uh, I put $2,000... With shipped, a case, shipped with a case to in anywhere in the in the lower 48 yeah correct okay yeah so if you wanted to buy yourself something nice for uh, for Christmas this would be a cool thing to buy the this paint job cost us a lot of money guys Mike Mike doesn't just come over and do stuff for us free as much as he likes us as much as he digs <laughs> us and 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 he you know what we probably could have gotten Mike to do some but but we're not we don't do that shit we, we don't, don't play, play that. like that yeah yeah so we we paid Mike for this and you can get a basically one off Mike learn paint job for and and a badass guitar and it's up internet with. famous it is internet famous. So, yeah. So, guys, if you like this kind of stuff, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button. That way you can get uh, all the updates on these guitar reveals that we're going to start doing. We're going to do more of these as we go. I have a very special um, uh, video coming out on Thanksgiving Day, too. So that's going to be super cool. So, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you to... Uh, wait a minute. I already, I already got it dicked up. Do you have anything more you want to say about the no. guitar, Chris? No. I think we've said enough. No. <laughs> so, guys, this is Matt at Texas Toast reminding you that life is short. You might as well have a cool guitar. Thanks for watching, everybody.